Will the House come back to order? Will the clerk please call calendar number 387? On page 22, calendar 387, substitute House Bill number 5471, an act concerning victims' rights and restitution. Favor report of the Joint Standing Committee on Judiciary. Representative Staffstrom. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Good to see you up there, sir. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, I move for acceptance of the Joint Committee's favor report and passage of the bill. The question before the Chamber is on acceptance of the Joint Committee's favorable report and passage of the bill. Representative Staffson, you have the floor. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the bill before us is a fairly simple but very sensible one, which simply requires that a court inquire on the record whether there are any requests by a victim for restitution uh, at the time the court is imposing sentence. Uh, again, this is something that I believe probably happens in uh, many instances in our Superior Court, but, but not all the time. And this simply requires that and provides uniformity. As I said, it's a simple but sensible change to our statutes on restitution, and I would urge the Chamber support for it. Will you remark further on the bill? Representative Rabimbus of the 70th. Madam, you have the floor. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Good afternoon, and it's a pleasure to see you there. Thank you. Good afternoon. Mr. Speaker, I rise in support of the bill before us. I want to thank the good vice chairman and the chairmen of the Judiciary Committee for having this bill come out and during the public hearing. And this House substitute bill does address the issue that we discussed with the state victims advocate, Natasha Perry, so I want to thank her for her input. And again, this is just one more, as the good vice chairman had indicated, just codification of making sure that the victim's right to be heard regarding restitution is actually heard before the court. So it's a good bill, and I encourage my colleagues to support it. And Mr. Speaker, if I could take this opportunity just to say how much of an absolute pleasure it has been to have you in our House chamber. It's unfortunate we're going to lose you, but hopefully we'll lose you to a, a higher chamber, literally only an elevation, and look forward to continuing to work with you. Thank you. And I, I agree it's only an elevation. Will you remark further on this bill? Representative Srinivasan of the 31st, you have the floor, sir. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's great to see you there. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I, too, rise in strong support of this bill. We just heard our good chair from Judiciary and our ranking member talk about the bill, and I'm in strong support of that. And I would take this opportunity to thank you for your service to this chamber in the last four years. You've been so dedicated. You've, you've been a role model for me, even though I've come before you. And I've had the opportunity multiple times to talk about bills, important bills, that I just want to make sure I have it all figured out in my head. You've always been a go-to person for me. Of course, I'm going to miss this you know, as you and I leave this chamber together. But I want to wish you the very best in your next endeavor, and I'm, and I'm sure our friendship will continue outside the chamber as well. I want to wish you the very best, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Representative, and I want to wish you the very best, and I hope the only time you're in here in the future is when you're in here by invitation. I've been waiting to say this one. Representative Green of the 55th, Madam, you have the floor. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise, I do support the bill, um, but I have a few comments. I just wanna say it has been a pleasure working next to you. Um, you've been so helpful and so supportive, and um, I'm really gonna miss you. But however, I do have to say, I'm still gonna be seeing you because you're gonna be in my district in the Andover and Bolton area as my senator, so that's gonna be really nice. But um, it's been a pleasure getting to know you, and thank you for all your help and support. Take care. Thank you, madam. Will you remark further on the bill? Representative Pettit of the 22nd. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I just wanted to take a moment to thank the uh,
Judiciary Committee and the good proponents for working on this bill to improve it for victims' rights and to allow them to uh, have the, the uh, judge make the the request for restitution and not have it be only only a possibility. So I, th I thank you very much for working with the uh, victim's advocate to making sure the language is, is appropriate. So thank you for that. And thank you, sir, for your uh, guidance in helping me uh, navigate my freshman year and, and best of luck in your future endeavors. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Representative. And I know that you are and will continue to be a tremendous representative for the people of Connecticut. Will you remark further on the bill? Representative Stokes of the 107th, you have the floor, sir. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I just, uh, I am in favor of the, uh, the bill that's up on the board, but I also want to say it's been good to get to know you the last couple of years, and it was nice coming in here and having discussions with many of the new legislators and then you and I had a conversation about our military career, and, uh, and then we started discussing where we were for over 40 years ago now. And uh, we found out we were the same place, the same base, and on sister ships for a while. Uh, never met, but it was kind of interesting to be able to know that you and I uh, were there, and uh, you recognized the name of the ship I was on. That was impressive. So, But anyways, I also want to say when I came here, I inherited your office. And I had to wait till you cleared it out. And I came in the first day, and I noticed there was a nice refrigerator in there. I came in the next day, and it was still there. Came in the next day, it's still there. I came in the third day, and I noticed there was a sticky note that had your name on it. I removed the sticky note, and I hoped it stayed. Two days later, it was gone. But I enjoy having your office, and uh, uh, when you do leave this building here uh, and go upstairs, if you need to donate the refrigerator, I am more than welcome to take it. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, sir, and thank you for your service. Will you remark further on the bill? Representative Ferraro of the 117th, you have the floor, sir. Good afternoon, Mr. Speaker. Great to see you up there. Thank you. Good afternoon, sir. Kind of bittersweet, actually, because um, as you know, my brother, we came in together. We had a very big uh, class, and um, our class is dwindling. But uh, I do want to say a few words for you, um, about you. Um, you have a quiet strength about you that um, oftentimes belies what is below the surface. But when somebody gets to know you, it's rock hard. It's fashioned in steel. You're a man of conviction. You're a very intelligent person who knows the issues, stands by the issues, and uh, is a very good friend to have. And um, not knowing you four years ago, I think I've gotten to know you quite well, and I'm glad I can count you as one of my friends. I do wish you the best of luck going forward, and I hope that you're still in this building and we're working together. Nice to talk. Thank you. Thank you, sir, and my feeling is the same toward you. Will you remark further on the bill? Will you remark further on the bill? It has been an incredible and an incredibly fast four years for me here. Uh, I have made great friendships, have great respect for this process and for the people in here. Uh, when I look around and see the great minds and the, the conviction and, and the dedication that many of you have, I look and there's Representative Scanlon who, before we even were sworn in. We were on Dennis House with Representative Simmons, and uh, that was the start. And now it's four years later, and it, it's it's really been quite a ride. Uh, I hope to remain in this building. Uh, if not, I know that the friendships that I have made in the four years that I've been here. Uh, are, are just uh, something that uh, I'll be a always able to count on and um, will hold close to my heart. Um, I thank each and every one of you that I have dealt with and talked with and, and um, you know, my, my Manchester group there, back there, keeping his head down, but 
Representative Rojas, uh, Representative uh, Curry, and Representative Juleson Scopino. Uh, while we were on the other side of the aisle, we were always working together for Manchester and, and doing the best we could. And I appreciate their, their hard work and their friendship throughout this four years. And um, I'm going to miss, I'm going to miss it here. Um, so, uh, if, will, will anyone remark further on the bill? If not, will staff and guests please come to the well of the house? Will the members please take their seat? The, me the machine will be opened. The House of Representatives is voting by roll. Members to the chamber. The House of Representatives is voting by roll. Members to the chamber.